I've flown from Rio de Janeiro in the southeast of Brazil to Manaus, the biggest city in the Amazon. I'm traveling with my girlfriend and a local guide called Mario, who's going to take us deeper into the forest to witness the Amazon's beauty and mystery. Hi guys, so I'm here in the Amazon rainforest by a small town called Presidente Figueiredo and I've just entered the forest and we've came across this tree called Brio Branco. This is probably the best smelling tree that I've ever smelt. You wouldn't believe how good it smells actually. And if you look here, you see this white kind of chalky, slightly slimy substance. If you smell that, it smells like a really good quality perfume. It smells so good that people were basically cutting it down so it's actually been preserved. So you can't cut this tree down in the Amazon rainforest. So the companies that do use this tree for their products actually grow the tree outside of the Amazon um, because it is a protected tree. If you're in the Amazon at some point and it smells like someone's spraying perfume around, it might actually just be this tree behind me. It smells amazing. Let's um, go deeper into the Amazon rainforest and explore some different things that I certainly have never considered exist here in the forest. I can hear the sound of lots of birds, frogs, monkeys. So let's go and try and find some more interesting things. So here I've just came across a tree which they call Pau Ferro, which means iron wood. And you can probably guess by the color why they call it iron wood, because it looks almost like a rusty metal tube going right up into the canopy of the forest and this is one of the the tallest types of trees that they have in this region of the amazon i've been told it's incredibly heavy and very very hard and this is why they call it iron wood now this tree just keeps going up and up right up into the upper canopy of the forest but as we keep going deeper and deeper into the forest the trees will get bigger and the forest will get thicker and we'll probably see some more of these trees called Pau Ferro. Cachoeira das Orquídeas <laughs> Guys, so I'm at Cachoeira Orquídeas and I've just had a really nice swim so I've jumped uh, in the waterfall and let the current kind of carrying me around a bit, it's got quite a strong current, so it kind of takes you in a circle. Um, and I was just really fun, just a bit of wild swimming in the Amazon rainforest. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that. And the water's got this really peculiar red sort of colour to it, um, almost like a tea. And the reason it looks like that is because actually um, a lot of leaves enter the water and, and it does basically make a tea, so I'm almost swimming in tea. If you're wondering what this white broth is, it's just a natural broth created by the waterfall. Uh, it's full of oxygen, so it is natural, I've been told. You can even put it on your beard and, and look like Father Christmas. So, um, after this we're going to try and find some more waterfalls. underneath the waterfall.
here I'm eating a tapioca, which is the small size. So I'm glad I didn't ask for the large size because the small size is already pretty big. Um, so I'm eating a tapioca, which is made out of mandioca with cheese and then this fruit called the uh, called the tucuma, which is uh, a fruit which only grows in the Amazon region of Brazil. And it's quite, it's not that sweet. It doesn't really taste like fruit. Some people say it tastes more like meat. Um, it's quite chewy, slightly salty, um, but very tasty. Very nice. Next time, I learned to make real Amazonian acai, a Brazilian superfood native to the region. I also tried some very bizarre and exotic fruits that I'd never seen before.